What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of I just started to talk about my podcast. Hold on one second. <laughs> I was about oh, to say Bucci Radio. Radio. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I am here to talk to you guys today about how to make the leap and actually do the thing that you've been meaning to do. So over the last couple of months, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but if you guys are new here, I do have a 90 day mentorship program called the Influencer Academy, where I help serve beginner entrepreneurs, service providers, and coaches and trainers to go from transitioning out of their nine to five, being completely alone in their journey, really wanting to take the next step and do the thing that they've been wanting to do, which is launch their coaching program actually get clients and do all the amazing things and become the influencer that they really want to be but the program itself is literally just a net that catches you after you jump off the cliff because it's really fucking scary to go ahead and say I'm gonna do this big scary thing and there's a lot of factors and moving pieces that go into it maybe you only have a couple of hours after work after your nine to five and you just don't want to do the wrong things and waste your time but there's also the fear that comes along with it like I'm not good enough or I'm not the expert yet or maybe I have to be become the expert in network and build my audience before I do all these things. Maybe I have to get a certification or I have to get ready more or I have to prepare my programs more. And the conversations that I've been having with the people that are joining these programs, I've been going back and forth for the last couple of weeks with a few women, a couple of men, and really just asking them, hey, what's stopping you? Like, what is the biggest thing that's stopping you from doing the thing that you really want to be doing? And the biggest thing is that a lot of people, I believe that they say, they want to know the blueprint. But I really truthfully believe that they're scared and they're not empowered to go do the thing. So the scariest thing in the world is jumping into the unknown essentially. And the feedback loop that we have is that we're getting ready to get ready. So we start here and we say, yay, I'm so ready to do the thing. I'm excited. I'm going to launch my coaching program. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to start on Monday. I'll post on Instagram. And then maybe you actually start posting on Instagram and you start to kind of, you know, do things similar to other people that you've seen do things. Maybe you post a couple of butt pictures. Maybe you start your YouTube channel. Maybe you feel like you have to go on Facebook Live. Maybe you just start doing a couple of different things that you think you have to do, but you don't really have a good system to do it, right? So you just kind of go with what you think. And you're like, screw it, everyone's saying to just go, 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 and I'm going. And then a couple of things happen. So you don't really have support, accountability, and then you also are kind of sitting here on an island alone, and you're supposed to have all this confidence knowing that regardless of whether or not I'm talking to two people on Instagram Live or 100,000, I'm still good enough. So you get on your Instagram Live and there's two people on there, and you're doing this for a few weeks, and then you go from, yay, I'm so excited, to I'm kind of trying and it's kind of working, but not really. And this can kind of be applied to doing a diet too. So if you don't have a coach, or maybe you don't know what you're doing with fitness, you kind of start doing stuff, you eat your salads, you go to the gym, and then it's kind of working, but it's also kind of not. So you're over here now, and you're like, mm, this is kind of not working, let me do a little bit less, go back into my comfort zone go back into my regular routine and just fall back into what I know because I know what I know and I'm comfortable here. And it's really uncomfortable to keep being uncomfortable but not really actually seeing results. So I'm not making money yet. I don't have a lot of followers yet. I feel like people aren't connecting with me. No one's messaging me. No one's supporting me. All of these things. So we, again, go, we fall back into our comfort zone. So what ends up happening is that we don't feel confident, so we, we lose belief in ourselves. We're over here, we're kind of not really feeling a belief in ourselves, we're not following through anymore. We're not doing the things that we were so excited to do up here, like whether, if it's a diet or if it's your business. If it's your business, you're not excited to do the post, you're not excited to get your face on story, you're not excited to make videos, you're not excited because you're not feeling that validation. Um, from other people that hey this is working or if it's fitness you're not seeing it in the mirror like you, you're losing weight or you're actually doing the right things so you don't follow through and you fall back this is where everyone gets stuck same thing with fitness people don't continue to follow through and you actually either gain the weight back or you just stop and quit after three weeks because it's not working and you're not seeing it working right but before I tell you what we really need to do I'll tell you what people end up doing is that they start the process again and they're like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna maybe try something new this time. Maybe I need another certification. Maybe I need to take another course. Maybe I really need to 
spend some time working on building the audience again and then I'm not gonna launch my program until I do this because it's gonna hurt. So what you realize in the last loop was that it hurts to not believe in yourself, it hurts to not get the validation from other people, it hurts to not see the results. So because you don't see the results fast enough and it doesn't feel good, you're gonna dive back into probably doing the same thing back up here, yay, I'm excited, let's do this, but I'm not gonna actually launch my coaching program, I'm actually not gonna go all in and commit because I'm scared of what's gonna happen when people don't support me or things don't happen for me. The missing piece is that you have to understand that you have to stay strong in your belief in yourself the whole entire time, regardless of whether or not you see progress. The way that you do that is understand that all these other people are doing it, they're just like you. The only thing that's missing is that they stayed consistent all the way through the hurt. And that's what most people do. If you guys can think of that little meme, and Emma, you can put this on the screen, where there's two guys and one guy is hammering away in the middle of an underground cave and there's diamonds over here, and one guy just keeps going, keeps going, and he's like, you know what, screw this, it's too hard, and he turns back around, and there's a little inch before he gets to the diamonds. And then the other guy is still excited and hammering away, and he keeps going, even though it's taking him a long time, even though it's really difficult, but he ends up finding the diamonds because he's that close. So all you have to do is think about it in that way and don't let yourself get blocked by getting ready to get ready. You don't need to do the minutia. Like you do not need to create an ebook. You do not probably need to keep posting on social media and then not announce your coaching program. You need to start the podcast. You need to start the YouTube channel. You need to tell people that you're a coach. You need to tell people what you're doing. You need to sign on clients, get on phone calls and do the thing and then and only then will you build the confidence. Will you build the expertise? Will you build the value? Because now you're actually doing it. And guess what happens when you actually do the thing? You actually get really good at it because you're in the middle of it and you keep yourself on the line. So when I first started my YouTube channel over here, I wasn't good at it in the beginning, but I just kept doing it and followed through. And then people found me, people asked me questions, and then I had new ideas for videos. I didn't start my YouTube channel like, oh, I have hundreds of ideas, I'm just gonna execute on all of them regardless of what happens in the process. The most beautiful thing is seeing what happens in the process and learning as you go. It's called experiential learning. And guess what you have to do to have experiential learning? You have to do the hard things that you're not wanting to do. So if there's a little voice inside of you telling you don't do this thing because it makes you uncomfortable or it's scary, that's the one thing that you have to do. It really truly is. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and give it a thumbs up if you liked it, share it with a friend, someone who needs to hear this that needs to take that leap off of the deep end, the dive off the diving board, jump off the cliff. I got you if you need someone here to support you um, on the on the bottom, on the net, if you need some help and support. Um, and so is this community, the Bucci Radio community, the Amanda Bucci YouTube community. Anyone who's inside of this community is here to support you because I know everyone here is a giver and a lover and we're all going through the same shit. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.